Hi guys, it's Sam from Creatively Sam's and today I'm trying 15 bean soup. I've been wanting to try this for years and I knew I was going to be making ham this week so I decided to pick up a bag of the beans. Um, if you want to see how this goes and if I liked it, stay tuned. It's coming up next. I've been wanting to try this for years and I figured since I made a ham yesterday I'll give it a try. So I decided to just follow the directions that are on the bag. Um, I know I've seen them on YouTube where they add all kind of other things to it but I'm going to do it just the way the bag says and see how it is. And it says that I need the bag of the beans, a cup of onion, one 14 and a half ounce can of diced tomatoes, teaspoon of chili powder, juice of one lemon, one to two cloves of garlic, and one pound of ham. And it says ham, ham hocks, or smoked sausage. Well, I've got ham. Okay, it says to rinse the beans and place the rinsed beans in a large pot, cover it with eight cups of water, allow beans to soak overnight or eight hours. And then we're going to drain it after the eight hours is done. So, we'll be back. Okay, there they are in the pot soaking. Um, this little bag had a flavor packet with it. Make sure you take that out. I almost didn't. And we'll be back in eight hours. Okay, it's been eight hours of soaking. So I'm going to um, drain these and rinse them and rinse the pot out and then put them back in the pot. Okay, now I'm going to, now that they're back in the pot, I'm going to add eight cups of cold water. Okay, I added the onions and I'm putting in two cups of chopped up ham. Okay, then it says to bring it to a boil, reduce the heat, and simmer covered for one to two hours, stirring occasionally. So, we're going to get that going. And we'll be back in a couple hours. Now, well, it's been cooking for about an hour so far. And it is smelling amazing. One more hour. Okay, the two hours are done. Oh, that looks good just as is. Okay, but now I gotta add all the other things. So I'm going to add the tomatoes. The chili powder. And I'm really wondering about that chili powder because I don't really like spicy stuff. But we'll see. And then the garlic. juice of one lemon. And honestly say I've never had soup with lemon in it. But we have to simmer this now for 30 minutes. About one to two minutes before it's done, 
you add the flavor packet. So what I'm going to do is set the timer for 28 minutes. And then when that's done, I'll put the flavor packet in and let it cook for another two minutes. So we'll be back. Okay, this is just about ready. So I'm going to add the ham flavoring in there. Stir it up and I'm going to let that cook for another two minutes. Jeez. Okay, and once this is done, I'll get this all plated and I'll let it cool down. And for my little key from Key's Corner, yes dear, I'm going to be tasting this. Um, before any of you asked the brace, I picked the grandbaby up the wrong way. And unfortunately, I pulled my wrist out. So, this has happened to me before and it's probably only going to take about a week of baby in it and I should be okay again. Okay, it's done. I'm going to move this over closer. I'm doing the usual when it comes to hot soups that I want to taste. I'm putting it in a pasta plate because a pasta plate, well, a pasta bowl is much wider and lower so things cool off faster. So as soon as this cools off, I'll be giving it a taste. And we'll see what I think of 15 bean soup. Okay, it's cooled down, and I'm going to give it a try and see what I think. It's got a unique flavor to it. I think it's the spice packet, or could be the chili powder. I think maybe the next time I make this, and I will make it again, um, I think I'll use a little less of the flavor packet. And I might add um, celery or carrots or some other vegetables to it. But I have a feeling this is going to be one of those stick to your rib kind of meals. So if you like what you saw, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. And happy creating, everyone.